So grab your pencils, markers, pens, whatever you have. And we're going to do this simple test to check head and neck symmetry. I'm Paula Moore, the Posture Doctor from PostureVideos.com. And today is all about symmetry. Are you symmetrical? Is the left side of your body the same as the right side of your body? And why is this so crucial to good posture? In a minute, I'm going to show you a simple test so that you can determine if your head and neck have good symmetry. And you're going to need an eyeliner pen or a regular marker will do. You can think of symmetry like balance. We see symmetry everywhere in nature. It's visually pleasing to the eye. Architects use it when designing buildings. And you can watch a bricklayer use a plumb line to get that balance, that symmetry in their walls. And it's crucial to good posture because when the left side equals the right side, our bodies are at a gravitational advantage. You're going to be drawing some lines in. You're going to, not lines, dots. One between the eyes, one on your earlobes on either side, one on the tip of your nose, chin, right between the collarbones, the little divot, and ideally right at the kind of bra line, or for you gents where you feel the uh, clavicle end right here where it hits the shoulder joint. So let's start between the eyebrows. Put your first dot there on the tip of your nose. That's not a very good dot. There we go. On your chin, right in the middle, by the way, over your earlobes, other earlobe, right in the middle, right between the collarbones, that little hole right in the middle, one there. Don't worry about drawing them out here. This one we're just going to follow with our fingers. Now, pop the pens down and we're going to look for symmetry. What we should see is this, that the, the dot between the eyebrows, nose, chin, and clavicle follow a nice even line as mine do. When you look at the ears, we should also see that we could draw a line between earlobe, nose, and earlobe, so that what we're getting is a nice cross. Now, what you might notice is a few things. You may see asymmetry if you have a neck like this. You'll notice that the dots fall to the side of the dot between the clavicles. You may see this. You may see this. If you were to draw a little line across the earlobes, or if there's a twist in the neck, you might not even see one earlobe when you're looking in the mirror. By the way, I didn't say that. Do you do this in front of a mirror? There's all kinds of combinations. So what you're looking for is that nice line down the middle and the cross from nose to earlobes. You can extend that. From this dot, you can follow your clavicles right until the end where they're going to hit the shoulder joints. And equally, these should be level. Notice if there's a tipping. Notice if one looks further behind than the other. These are all suggestions that you have an asymmetrical posture. The left side isn't the same as the right side. And almost always these are down to past traumas or ongoing habits. The way you sit, things that you do in your everyday life, but any obvious differences, something like this, where the chin is way off to one side, almost always I have found are due to traumas and car accidents are a big one. Even car accidents you walked away from, anything over 20 miles an hour, falls down stairs, um, tumbles off the jungle gym when you're younger, lots of things. Have a think back to when you were younger. It's all about body symmetry. Mm -hmm.